As a base for this eye makeup, I'm using um, Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eyelid. And as you can see, I just use a tiny, tiny little amount and spread it with my middle finger. As a color base for this eye look, I am using a Bourjois product. It's their um, Luminous Cream Eyeshadow in car. I just take a tiny, tiny bit of it and blend it onto my eye. I want to make it a little bit darker, so I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny little bit more, especially near my lash line. It's much easier to add product than it is to take away, so I like to start thin and add more as desired. I'm going to be using a pigment by MAC called Golden Olive. I'm going to be using it wet, so I just put a tiny, tiny bit of the pigment into my um, the lid of my sample jar. And I'm going to use um, a Laura Mercier brush to apply this, and this is her cream eye color brush. I'm going to spray the brush with Vitamin E Face Spray by The Body Shop. This works fantastic if you want to foil on um, or use wet um, loose eyeshadow. So I just spray my brush with it, like so, and then use it with the pigment that I've got in my, on my lid. And I'm just creating a kind of a paste with the wet brush. Now that I've got kind of a paste on my brush, I'm going to tap that on to my eyelid. I love using pigments wet. You can use them dry and they will look beautiful, but if you use them wet, they become so much more intense and vibrant. This reminds me kind of um, of a beetle. Because it's so shiny and it looks almost wet. So I'm just shading my whole eyelid. I'm tapping it on and then I'm kind of swiping it over my eye. Since I'm not using any kind of a contour color, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the pigment just in my outer corner. So it's a little bit more intense. To make the color application more kind of uniform and with no kind of patches of color peeking through, I'm going to use a 219 brush by MAC and a little bit of the same pigment and just kind of tap it in places where I feel I need a little bit more. Before I blend this into my crease and above it, I'm going to use my highlight color so um, blending will be that much easier. As my highlight, I'm going to use another MAC pigment, and this one is called Naked. And it is almost a MAC color with just the slightest little bit of kind of um, a white pearl to it. It's beautiful. And if you're using a very shimmery color on your lid, this is a really nice highlighter because it's not awfully shimmery. So I'm just um, packing it onto my brush and I'm going to apply it to my brow bone. and I'm putting it around the edge of the green. If I close my eyes, you can see that I've got a solid um, block of color on my eyelid and that doesn't look very natural, so I'm going to blend that. I'm using a Sigma SS224 brush and I'm just going to use windshield wiper motions to blend the golden olive color into my highlight and slightly above my crease, so it kind of fades into my crease. So now the color is blended but I've lost some of the um, intensity of the green on just the lid. So I'm going to reapply a little bit of it to my lid. I'm staying out of my crease because that's where I've blended the color and I don't want to um, have to blend it again. So I'm just reapplying it to just my lid. To give my lash line a little bit more definition, I am going to use a Clinique brush on liner, cream brush on liner in the color Deep Brown and a MAC 209 brush. 
I want to make a very very thin line and make it um, put it very very close to my lash line. Um, by adding the cream liner, the definition is kind of harsh to me, so I'm going to cover the liner with a little bit of the same pigment that I use on my lid, so MAC Golden Olive. So um, the lash line is considerably darker, but it doesn't scream, I've got eyeliner on. And I'm just going to be using it um, dry. So with another MAC 209 brush, I'm taking a little bit of Golden Olive pigment and I'm just going to put it directly over my um, cream eyeliner. So now my lash line is considerably darker than my lid, but it's not as obvious as if I were to use um, just um, the cream eyeliner on its own. I'm going to apply mascara now, clean up the unfortunate fallout I have underneath my eyes and show you what I did on my cheeks and my lips. So mascara is on and for my lower lash line I don't want to put, um, I don't want to make a big color statement on my lower lash line since I've got a very um, bright green on my lid but I don't want it to look completely bare. Therefore I'm taking um, MAC pigment in Naked again which I've got as my highlight and Polydorf Transformer and I'm going to apply it wet just on my lash line and I just want and I'm applying it just on my lash line now this didn't make a huge difference in terms of color but it stops um, um, the lower lash line from looking completely bare and on my lower waterline, I am using Max Factor Natural Glaze Coal, just to open my eye up further. So on my cheeks, I'm using a little bit of Clinique Fresh Bloom All Over Color in Camellia. This is a limited edition product, so it's probably unavailable by now, but you can use any kind of a coppery, um, dark pink, copperish color. I'm using a 187 brush because this is a very pigmented product and I have very fair skin so this allows me to put a very thin layer of it on. So I'm just kind of stippling it on and then blushing, um, brushing it towards my temple. And on my lips I'm using Clinique Moisture Shine um, lipstick in Tender Mauve. These moisture shines, this is just a sample I got as a gift with purchase, but they come in a nice silver packaging and they're kind of the love child of gloss and lipstick, so they're very silky, silky and glossy and moisturizing at the same time. And this is the complete look. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Bye!